What's good, YouTube? Hello, it's your boy. <laughs> I butchered that intro. It's your boy Jay. We are here with week five. I think if I could count correctly, week five of the UPBA. We're going against our homie, our boy, aka Talon, coach of the Atlanta Braviaries. I cannot speak. My brain is bamboozled. This man's team is super scary. AJ Slash and Nido King, and there's no AJ Slash. Okay, <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to talk to Talon after this. I'm kind of disappointed. Like I'm happy it's not here, but bro, AJ Slash went brazy. AJ Slash went absolutely brazy. Alucha's here, of course. So everything, he did bring Tangela. I didn't expect him to bring Rotom Fan. Uh, FO was like, yo, Armando, because of rain, which he, it is here, so fair on his part. Uh, but we can pivot around that and whatnot. It kind of lets me, like, ha not having both of the offensive threats here, kind of nice. Off rip, I mean, just off first glance. It might be different in the game, but we'll see. But this is what we got. Oh, he did bring the Tangela, but we just got to get reps up and we're fine. We're just going to lead as of, bro. We have no reason not to. It's Sash lead. We get our Brocks. He has no Defogger aside from Rotom uh, Fan, of course. And if it is the Defogger, I mean, he has the Defogger and the Spinner. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tr really tripping, but I'm pretty sure he's Defog Rotom. I could also see Will-O-Wisp Rotom, which would be super annoying for Dragonite. So we're going to have to chip that, but I mean, Loki... <sighs> Uh, whatchamacallit, Dreadnought just wins. <laughs> he has nothing to pivot into it once I get rocks up and get a Swords Dance up. Like, it's basically GG at that point. As long as I land my moves, of course, because, you know, RNG is a thing. But we're sipping on our ice-cold water. We're going to see what he leads. Polter Gust is this thing. Okay. So, actually, what I can do is I can knock this off. I kind of want to knock this off. I'm the fastest thing on the field aside Wait, is that the best thing to do? Maybe I can Stealth Rock. I think getting rocks up first is best. And then I can knock off the following turn. That seems fair, in my opinion. Cause like, I was thinking about going knock off first, but then like, eh, getting rocks up is more like important. Cause then it kind of forces him to defog if he doesn't like bolt switch out right here. He could Willow and that would be kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna get up rocks right here. We're gonna see what he wants to do. Am I gonna regret being physical as of? Am I gonna regret it? I'm not, okay. He's gonna both switch, that's fine. We're gonna take some damage because as of is a frail little thing. Um, I don't know what he goes out into. He could go Tangela. If he goes Tangela, I am knocking that thing off so fast. Please be Tangela. It's Indeedy. I'm gonna take some rock ship, very nice. Psychic Surge does come up, and now we're gonna go ahead, cause I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna like, sack his elf right, I feel like sacking his elf right now isn't like the time, I can go boom on something, cause he doesn't have Age Slash, so it's kinda free, I mean Armaldo is there, but I can go boom on something for free. AV Crook is here, I think that's a fine play. If he goes for D Gleam, that's fine. If he goes for Hyper Voice, that's even better, cause it does less damage than D Gleam. So we'll see what he is, I'm gonna flip the calc still real quick. Intimidate's gonna pop off, it shouldn't matter too much though. Uh, hyper voice, that's fine. Literally eat, that's specs. That's gotta be specs, right? You have a scarf? It's not doing that much, I don't think. Let me look real quick, cause we gotta, we gotta know how much it did. It brought us down to 126. Hyper voice, yeah, it's gotta be specs. Choice specs, yeah, cause choice specs is 35 to 42. So we know this thing is specs. Uh, we get off a free knockoff. So we know specs, it's not um scarf, so that's good to know. Uh so now we can like we could have stayed in with Azov and just hit it. Oh my god, he did this. That's not okay. I'm I mess with it. <laughs> I mean yo, Dreadnought is looking super clean right now. Dreadnought's looking super clean right now. Mini Kush, this man. Tal Ooh, talent. Ooh, talent. Alright, so Ooh, okay, question. I feel like if he does if he is sleep powder, which he very well could be. I think I go as elf here now. He could knock us off. I mean, I don't want to lose as elf like that, but I mean, as elf's only job was to get up rocks and it did its job, it did its thing. I just like, <sighs> I hate it. I don't like it. I think that's the best play. Because if I, if I get sleep powdered on something else that's valuable, like Clef or Dragonite, uh, it's not worth. So I'm just going to Clouded. Uh, even though I, I kind of see a knockoff coming. But we do know Ndidi is specs, so we're going to note that down just so we don't forget. He's gonna leash seed, okay, okay, that's fine. So he has leech. 
He's gonna get some health back, but that's fine because we did knock off his EV light, so it's not as bulky as it was. So that's cool. Um, do we just explode right here? I'm down to just explode. We can then headbutt and try to get a flinch though, just in case he goes into something else. Uh, I think that I think Zen headbutt's fine, just in case he does swap out into something that's slower. He's gonna stay in. We do land very nice. Can we get a flinch maybe? That's a decent chunk of damage. Knockoff comes off. We live wild. We're gonna die to Leech Seed, pretty sure. Okay, so Leech Seed knockoff. I think we go Dragonite and we just D dance. I think. Should I even bother doing that? I don't know if that's worth it. If I'm being honest with you, because he goes, does he go hard road him? Cause I can outrage for free. Oh, coach, what do I do? Do a Tangela, bro. I hate doing calcs like this. I really do. It has no item. Has no item, bro. Uh, all I told can like kill it with ice beam. It just kills it with ice beam, but I think I just go into Dragonite. I think just go do it. A uh, Dragonite to a Rotom fan. It's like max HP. We do a lot of damage. I think we just do wing beat though. I don't want to get put to sleep. Not a fan. He's just gonna opt to stay in. Okay, cool. This thing's gonna go down. So his thing to handle uh, Dreadnought is gone. So that's kind of problematic for him. But we do see, I guess I should have just exploded though. Tangela KO uh, Azelf and Dragonite KO, what's your name? Dragonite KO Tangela. Cool. So that's a fair trade, I guess. As of did what I need to do though. Uh Polter Gust, that's going to be this thing. Is it obviously it's gonna be boots. Um the problem is I really, really, really wish I was calm on Unclef right now because that would be looking fantastic. But do I just stay in and D-dance in this thing's face? I think I do. I don't really have like any like this, like just do it. I think I just do it. Gonna opt to Will O Wisp. I wish I was Lum. I'm so upset because I wish I was Lum. But he's running speed on this, so it's just max HP then. No, wait, no, he naturally outspeeds us. Wait, no, no, no. He does, he's running speed because otherwise we would outspeed it. We did lose our freaking whatchamacallit, but. Oh, bro, I wish I was Lum. I wish. <laughs> I wish I stayed Lum, but it's fine. It's fine. Literally, if he brought rocks, it would have been unfortunate. It would have been unfortunate. So like, it's like, you gotta pick one. You gotta pick one at some point. We're just gonna D-dance though. We'll get back to neutral, which is okay, but eh. Super on Fort. Super on Fort. What is he gonna do? He's gonna opt to Volt Switch, that's fair. Oh, bro. I mean, I knew the Willow was coming, but like, I should've just went Clef. Nah, but we're unaware, we're unaware, Never mind. Of unnecessary, unnecessary damage. So if we're burned, we're plus two burned. Literally just neutral. Who does he go into here? Crustaceous. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Armaldo. That's doing a lot. Armaldo. Earthquake. I mean, dual wing be actually doing a lot. But do I want to stay in? I think I do. I mean, I'm not, I feel like I'm playing a bit reckless, low key, if I'm being honest. But I mean, we're burned at this point, so I think we just go for it. Because he might rap. It's been predicting me to switch out, but I think we're just here. There's a decent amount of damage. The two KO easily. He's gonna opt to rock blast. He's gonna land it. There's a lot. Good lord. <laughs> So super effective, hit two times. And it's life orb. So let me just go out into this because if he is max speed, Crocodile, Armaldo. 
Whatever, he's jolly. Oh, he doesn't have speed crook. We just go crook. I'm getting intimidated off too, so that's cool. But literally the end game for Dreadnought is looking like fantastic. So at least we have that going for us. Uh, we just go for a knockoff. Cause why not? We don't have any reason to EQ. And according to the calcs, we got speed. Okay, we do. So that's cool. So Armaldo KO uh, Dragonite. Uh, Crocodile. KOs. Who's Armaldo? <laughs> I'm having problems remembering these names. But I do really wish I was Lum. Because if I was Lum right there, like that Rotom, as from the info information we saw, like plus one outrage would have just killed and we could have like just wiped his team right there. <laughs> I don't know about wiped, but we could have like cleaned some mons like easily. Dragonite would have like a, but, a buttload of kills. A buttload. But I mean, you live and learn, bro. There's nothing much you can do. Jeeves comes here. I don't know why he would go into this. He cannot kill me. Oh, uh, wait a minute. He might. Indeedy. Specs Deagling. Oh, it doesn't kill me. This man. Yo, I'm gonna just kill this thing. Please go for Deagling, I dare you. He does. It's not killing me. It's not killing me, bro. We live in. We're AV. You're dead. You're gone. Goodbye, NDD. That was nice. Boop. Cool. <laughs> cool. Beautiful. Crocodile. KO. Yeah, he was specs. Told you. NDD. Alright, cool. We looking clean. We looking crisp. Crocodile getting the kills, though. I love Crook. Lucha Libre comes out. Probably gonna pop his unburdened shenanigans. I assume. Psychic Seed pops off. Gonna boost your, I think, Spadef. Yeah. We go Hard Clef right here. We are Kebia Berry for the Nido King, but obviously it's not needed as much anymore. Cause like once we get Rain up, like Dreadnought just wins. Cause all he has left is Rotom Fan. And let's peep. I gotta check Calx real quick. Dreadnought to a max. Cause it's just max HP Rotom. Pretty sure. Not Dragonite, Dreadnought, bro. Dreadnought. Dreadnought in rain. Has a chance to kill, but we just have to go for Stone Edge because we always kill. We're gonna see what he wants to go for here. Does he go for CC? If he does, that's kind of crazy. He just SDs. Little does he know we're unaware, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Unaware is gonna come clutch for once. He loved to see it. And like, I do believe Psychic will be doing more damage because it is in terrain. Right? Yeah, it's in terrain. So just click it. We're unaware, baby, unless I miss... Oh, bro, imagine if I just, like, miss uh, prepped. But I'm pretty sure we're, we're unaware. I hope we are. Acrobatics should not do that much. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Psychic, boom, 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 doing damage. Oh, Clef Fable. That's why we have Clef, baby. That's why we have Clef, baby. That's why we have Clef, baby. Let's go. I love it. Low. It did it. I know where Clef finally did a thing. It did the thing. It did the thing. Cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Clef. Clef Abel, KO Halusha. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to Q whooping my booty cheeks <laughs> so, to get me to actually run Unaware where Clef when it needs to be ran because I was a hard stand for Magic Guard up until now. So Shout out to the homie. Sometimes it's needed. Sometimes it's needed. Even though 6 0 wasn't needed, but I mean, sometimes it's needed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to be able to fire off a Psychic right here. Earth Power comes off. That's fine. Obviously, there was no need for me to switch. We go hard Politoed to get up rain. And then we just Scald. Psychic is going to. I mean, not Psychic. The Psychic terrain is going to disappear. Uh, and we go hard U. Uh, so, what happened? Nido King. Hey, Oakle Fable. Cool. Wet Wet is gonna make it rain. And all we have to do is Scald. If he wants to go on the Rotom, that's fine. We're just gonna Scald. I have no reason not to. It's literally free. Literally free. He's gonna withdraw. That's fine. We go out into Rotom. I mean, not Rotom. <laughs> we go out into Crook. And then uh, Crook dies, and then we win. 
Boom shakalaka, baby. A crit. I'll take it though. He burned me. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Crit burn. Whew. I am sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Uh, but there's no need for me to take damage on this thing. Obviously, we're just going to go out to Crook. I hate that when we... Now, I'm not being cocky. I'm pretty sure we have this game in the bag. But I hate that when we win, right? It's always like a low differential. But I mean, as long as I keep winning, differential doesn't matter. But I'm like, dang, bro. I want a little... I want a little raise, you know? I just want a little bit. A little bit, you know? Three above would be super nice, but obviously we're about to lose Crook right here. Unless he both switches for no reason. Or Thunderbolts for no reason. So obviously Air Slash. He both switches for no reason. Okay. I'm down. We just knock off. I mean, he wastes a turn of rain, which is unfortunate. Uh, we might be faster than this, but probably not because we saw that it had speed investment. But it depends on how much he has. He might not have Air Slash on this. He might be like Defog, Volt Switch, uh, Bula Wisp. Uh, he's just gonna have to burn me, okay? Uh, this should kill it, I'm pretty sure, even if we are burned. So I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Air Slash, which is cool. We should be able to kill it. If, if uh, Maybe it won't die. Does it die to burn? Please die to burn. Does it die to burn? It do die to burn. So Politoed gets a kill. You love to see it. Politoed. KO, uh, what's your name? What is your name? Probably took KO who? Oh, uh, Rotom fan. Fan, let me write out fan, because I'll be a dumb dumb be like Rotom Frost for no reason, even though he doesn't have it on his team. So we're gonna get a dub. Um, Like, I can't like try to do anything like cheeky and try to get like differential back, because like there's no point, obviously, because like I have nothing to switch into. This is the switch into the Nido King, so. It is what it is. Nido King is gonna pick up a kill, so Nido King KO Crocodile. But I'm really surprised he didn't bring a. Oh, uh, which I'm gonna call it. Rain is still up. I'm not tripping. It's not gonna go away after this turn. I hope not. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of it's, it's unfortunate. Shouldn't right? Ooh, ooh. How many turns did it? Was it like one? <laughs> oh my God! We're just gonna liquidate. We're gonna liquidate and it's gonna do a thing. We're just gonna do rain team things. Let's go. So Dreadnought gets the final KO. Dreadnought, KO, Nido King. Cool. Yo, nice clean dub. I I love it. 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 But you know, good game to my boy Talon. Um, I'm surprised about no Aegislash. Slash. I'm gonna have to talk to you about that, bro, because I don't understand why you didn't bring it. Um, I was kind of surprised by no Vape Vaporeon either. But I mean you brought Tangela, but you just let it go down super early. But hey, hey. We won. <laughs> so we're now four and one, which is very nice. It feels good. You know, after that bad loss, um, it feels like I got beat down in this league, even though our record says otherwise, but still it's just kind of, whew. but make sure if you did like the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. Also make sure to sub if you have not yet and you like to see more of this content. But without further ado, I am Boy J. I'm gonna get about your hair and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.